Hey guys, so my hair looks really freaking crazy right now, but um, I just wanted to show you some progress on this dread <laughs> I'm having so much trouble with. I did rip and tear method on it um, a couple weeks ago, and like the only part that's tight right now is this little section compared to the whole rest of the dread. So like here, <laughs> here it's super loose and it keeps, I think it's because it's like wide this direction and not this way but it keeps like splitting in two and i just got um my cartilage pierced like i don't know uh, in, uh, late october and it's now march um but the thing is it didn't heal properly very well so now all these loose hairs here like this flat ass crappy like the loose hair is getting caught in it and it keeps pulling on it and it's not like still not healing very nicely so anyway that's a problem i'm trying crochet hooking and i got it to like actually be a little bit more concise up here which is surprising because it still looks like hella loose and like split but um i wish i could pin this i pulled all the rest of my hair back into a bun so i could just focus on this one um i only have four dreads at the moment and this one is giving me the most trouble just because it's like by my ear so <laughs> this looks really confusing i've seen a lot of dread videos and people trying to maintain it and i noticed that it's like really hard for them to actually get like a good video of it so i'm gonna turn my hair whoa almost knocked over milk okay i wish my bangs were like flat right now as you can see oh there you go so I just twisted it because it's like really loose. And then I'm gonna it starts getting loose like right there. And it look it feels like it's um like it's split in half. So what I'm gonna do is because right here is where it's like open. Right you can't see it because my finger's not poking through, but the two halves are here. I'm gonna go in it like like this, like through both halves. And I'm gonna have the crochet hook down, down toward where my thumb will be. And I'm just gonna push through. And then just, I don't know, just pull whatever I can most of the way through the dread, but then like curve it up so that the hook lets go of it once I'm like almost out of the dread. It's kind of hard and sometimes you'll pull through but then you can just reach around and get the other side. So I'm just going through, kind of go up so I can hook some hair. And if you know how to crochet like yarn, it's really like you'll understand like how to um, catch the hair. Um, just like you're catching yarn and pulling it through. But then you also have to like let go um, when you hook upward. So go in, go down. It's kind of like this motion. <laughs> go in, up, down to like pull out. But be careful, don't pull any or don't rip any hair. And then I just try and twist again. I mean, I don't know how well this is going to work, to be honest. Because, whoop, see, I just broke a hair. That was bad. I don't want to break hairs because I feel like one day I'm gonna want these out so I don't want to like break shit and then I'm gonna go the other direction like um how I was saying that the two halves are like okay there's the two halves so one's half's on this side one half is on this side I'm gonna twist it the other way and push the halves together and kind of do it like that just so I can get different angles and just kind of You are going to want to like hang on to your hair, otherwise you like pull at it and rip it. So right here is kind of tighter, but here it's hell at least, you can still see it. But here it's a little longer now. There's the length. I don't know if that actually helps. I'm really going to keep doing this until it fixes itself. I've been working on this for like 
I don't know, 15 minutes or more. I'm like just trying to get it knotted up. It's really, it's kind of obnoxious, but I'm trying to be patient. Hella new, so Hella new dreading. And things are crazy. They're not supposed to be this thick. Half of this is supposed to be on this side. Okay, well, I haven't straightened my hair or done anything to it. Just out of the shower. Um, so you just can keep doing that, and as um, just keep twisting it. Kind of, I've heard some people like rough it up, like do that, but I don't know. I just washed my hair, so I feel like I mean, I didn't try to wash my dreads, but you run water through them and it like makes them silky. My hair is like way too silky for this. Um, so I'm gonna show you the other dreads, and I'll show you my favorite one too, because that was actually like looking okay. So my favorite one is this one. So far, it's really like hairy still. But what ha what's cool about it that I like is that up here by the root, it's twisted. I have naturally like wavy hair, and when I I've been putting them into a ponytail or like a bun while making these so they don't look too crappy, but um, it would bubble. It bubbles like when I do that, when I put it into a ponytail. So what I've been doing is twisting it, twisting the roots, and then putting it back so it's like flush. It's like that. It's still a little bubbly, but yeah, I've been doing that. Um, so now, like when it sits flat, it curls. It's really cool. I like it. I might tighten it a little bit. And it's getting pretty hard. That's like a couple weeks old. The tips are still all very loose. Like this one's hella loose. I don't know what the deal is with this one <laughs> that I've been working on. Oh, my hair is so bad right now. I'm sorry. And then I have one on this side. Oh, sorry. There's two here. And then I have a third, which I have not even been looking at for the last two weeks. I need to maintain this one too. There's one. It's hella hairy. And here's the split in half again. I don't know. He's happening. There's one that's I tried and not have been haven't looked out in a while. So those are three of them right there. And there's the first one I did and I kept trying to redo it and I also have a lot of loose shit here. So. Loose stuff, sorry. So I don't know. It's like hella loose, all of them are, but I guess it's, they're so young, so I don't know. I probably shouldn't be playing around with them too much. So, the tips are curly, my hair's really, I mean, my hair's really short. Like when I strain it, it gets to like here, but my hair's really short, so I'm trying to do the rip and tear method with all of them because I think it maintains the length. Um, and because back coming, I feel like it just pushes so much hair up and like my long my shortest layer is like here and I don't want my dread to be like here so it just looks dumb I think it'll be like really pokey and all over the boy so yeah so I'm just gonna keep working on this one I believe it's this one yeah and just keep on dreading <laughs>